Hi, I'm Nathan Lomas. Today we're going to be discussing determining optimal print size in Adobe Photoshop, as well as cropping for specific print ratios. So here I am in Lightroom with the image that I'd like to print. Let's imagine that I want to print this image at 16 by 20 inches. Uh, what I can do is come into the develop module and open up the crop tool, which is the first one underneath the histogram here. If I click that, I get a number of options that drop down, and the one that I'm most concerned about is this one here, where it currently says original, and it's next to the lock icon. If I hit where it says original, that opens up a drop down that is going to let me crop to a few predetermined ratios that are dialed in here, or I could always enter a custom ratio. If I want to make a 16 by 20 inch print, that's the same ratio as 4 by 5 or 8 by 10. They have other things in here like 1 to 1, which would give you a square print, 5 by 7, 2 to 3, which most cameras shoot. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pick 4 by 5 slash 8 by 10, since I know that that will scale up to 16 by 20. That basically limits you in terms of the shape of the rectangle that I can now crop to. So I can make this smaller, I can make it larger, I can pan the image around within this space here to get the crop that I'd like and the composition that I'd like. So I'm gonna place my tree, the main subject here in the foreground, a little bit off center to the left, hit the return key to accept the crop, and now it's applied. So now if I wanna just double check that I have the pixel count or the resolution to stand up to that size, what I'm going to do is now send this image over to Photoshop. That's a better place to really, you know, examine the pixels in your image and see whether you have the resolution needed to go to a certain size. So once we send that over to Photoshop by using Photo, Edit In, and Edit in Photoshop, I am going to then, once the image opens here, go to the Image menu at the very top, choose Image Size, and take a look at the information that's here. It gives us some details about the pixel count of the image, the uh, width and the height, and the current size at 300 pixels per inch. Essentially what we do here is if we want to figure out how large we could print a certain file, I want to turn off resampling and dial in 180 for the resolution. That's about as low as we would like to print an image before we start to see a loss of quality and a loss of sharpness. So that is going to show us that with this particular file, I can get an image that's about 22 by almost 28 inches, well over the 16 by 20 inch size that I'd like to use. So in that case, I find that I do have plenty of resolution to work with, and it gives me an idea of how much bigger I could print this file if I wanted to.